Hi, my name is Wes, uh, and today I was going to show you how to install a single pole light switch. Now this is the simplest type of installation I can think of. Um, you really only have two wires, as you can see on this switch. The switch itself is about a dollar, maybe less. Uh, there's two wires here. You can attach the wires in either direction, it doesn't matter. The only tools you might need are a screwdriver, doesn't even need to be a fancy one like this, and maybe some needle nose pliers or even some scissors might work. On homebuilder.com I saw that in my area the average cost for one light fixture installation is between $115 and $257. Here you see your standard light switch. I've pre-unscrewed things because no one wants to watch a video of that, but the plate comes right off. You can see your wires inside. Now this is a single pole switch as I mentioned. The way you can tell that is because it controls one device, my lights in my garage. If you had multiple switches like on a stairwell, like one at the top, one at the bottom, that would be a double pole switch. You could still do it easily yourself, uh, but uh, it would have more than two wires, so you'd have to read the instructions. Um, next, you just reach in there with your tongue and uh, zap yourself nice and good, and uh, that'll tell you what 120 volts feels like. Um, you can also choose to turn off the power, which is what we're going to do next. So over here you can see my circuit box. If yours is anything like mine, you notice that none of this makes any sense and you have no idea what turns what off. So really what you might want to do is just start switching things randomly. I think in the past I tested this one and it's the one that's either labeled kitchen counter. Lights is for some reason this blank switch, which doesn't make any sense. Um, so we're going to go with turning off kitchen counter and this guy. Okay, so the way you can tell your power is off is by turning on the light. If the fixture no longer turns on, you're good. Um, you can go ahead and remove the fixture itself, which should take two small screws. And for some reason, they all used flathead screws for electrical work back in the day. So inside here, we've got three different types of wires. A white or neutral wire, a black or load wire. This red wire is actually also a load wire. The difference is one carries the load from the electrical panel, the other carries the load to your light switch. Now you don't need to plug in the neutral wire to the switch because the switch is just going to turn on or off the load wire. So the neutral wires you can just push back into the back and ignore. Um, now on the light switch you have your, like I said, your two uh, ports for, for wires. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just cut these off and put them in the new switch. Okay, so we've got our two load wires, which we're going to insert in our new switch. Um, my switch actually has holes for these, so I'll just go ahead and insert them. You can run them around and screw down the screws as well, but this is just easier. And as I said before, there is no order necessary since it's a single pole switch, and all, these, all this does is carry the load from the electrical panel uh, to your light, and the switch decides whether or not to turn that load on or off. So super simple, and you can see it would work in the other direction. Insert the two wires. They should fit firmly and not be removed, as long as there's not a lot of uh, area for these to come loose or for them to touch each other. Um, you should be all set. So then you can just insert your switch back in the wall. And it usually is a pain in the butt to do so. And make sure you to put the top the right way. Ah, these wires are a pain in the ass. There we go. Usually as soon as you get one of the top screws in, it becomes a lot easier because... Now you want to screw your you want to screw your light switch in to be just flush with the wall. Now your tendency is to screw it all the way to the back, which isn't a huge deal, but uh, it'll actually fit best if it is just flush with the wall, not behind your drywall. Get your Phillips head screwdriver. This is probably overkill, but I couldn't find my other screwdriver. And. Everything pushed back on. 
And now we have a fancy new switch.